thinking about in terms of a better and a greater world for all people. And we can't do that by me in one corner doing what I can do to hurt you and you in the other corner doing the same thing against me. There's no such thing as a race. And a white person can go into any of these places of business and he'll have to admit that he is uh, treated with more respect. And uh, Negro is a term that was applied to us during slavery by the slave master. Uh, but he says that it is something that means a slave or something who is, it means something uh, that has been left out of society, politically, economically, uh, educationally, and otherwise. Man created races, racial classifications, and he had his own reason for doing it. It's no. an anthropological term. Definitely. It's not an anthropological term. It's a slave term and used by the slave makers, slave traders, and slave masters and attached to the property or the chattel or merchandise that our people represented in that particular day. Mr. O'Connor. Now, who benefited from this artificial creation at first? Who benefits from it now? Now, we're trying to gain acceptance. See, and you would, you would talk, so forth and so on, and you wore an Ivy League haircut. Enough people who are against you because you are black, that you become paranoid. We, we, I don't think we've gone over it too well. Um. This is the streets talking for themselves. It could be anybody. It could be Bambi, or Conchita, Monique, Jaja, Shaniqua. Well, what luck? You answer it! Why should I answer? I'm in the bathroom! Now, if that is from a woman, I suggest you put it in the sink before opening it. Or do we need to address criminality altogether? Kevin, I would like, I'd like to, to also. I like Kevin, to also what would you do ask. If I gave you this file here that's filled with hundreds of people that have been locked up for carrying guns recently. I'd, I'd like to ask hundreds you another question, Mr. Kowalewski. Right. Do you believe that there has ever been a case of police brutality against a black citizen in the city of Newark? Now, that all depends on what you consider to be police and brutality. Physical, I'm going to answer your Physical question. abuse of I'm a citizen in the city. Uh, physical abuse in the city. Now, listen, if I was to say that... Do you believe that there has case, ever been a case? An isolated let me, case let me tell you brutality? one little story. Let Good, me tell like you one little story. To black America, what is it that we want? If we could understand that black psychology is, is, is the psychology that the black man has to have if he's going to escape from powerlessness in a white man's world. Now, the, the struggle is a struggle between black people for power and white people to keep power. Now, we, all we're dealing with is a power struggle. Every institution that the white man has, he uses in this power struggle. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing immoral about it. Any people would do that. When we get on top, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to use every institution to, to perpetuate black power. Maybe you better take time with just all this unique ability to find all these scientific discoveries that you've got to learn how to find your way into men's hearts and the men's minds. We, we'd use them first to unscramble our own mixed up minds that come from a black perspective, a black orientation, and are concerned with black power. It, for white people. So the average black man ain't got nothing to lose by anything that he does. See, but that's how the Lord tests us. Then I met you. God, and you just seem so tortured and so angry. And I said to myself, 